Hello, I'm alive. I feel more strong. This is episode 101 of the Solo One Sci-Fi Podcast. I'm Michael Ball. I'm joined once again by my uh, deep thought of uh, sci-fi knowledge and experience and a uh, very, very intelligent, nice guy who's been with me ne- now nearly for two and a half years, which is quite staggering in that, in that own information. It is Martin Sci-Fi Appeal himself, Martin Fowler. Hello, Martin. I've been stuck in this box for two years. Yeah, it's I've like an episode of the Twilight episode, Zone or something, yeah, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I did like the I did like the intro that episode, like the one hundred one. It sounded like a sci-fi spaceship. One o x one o one, you know. Yeah, a space oddity, maybe I don't know. Podcast one o one. Jerry Anderson. Yeah, x one o one. Well, you know, prepared for launch. Yeah. National Lampoon's podcast or some sci-fi podcast. You can see National Lampoon doing a sort of like thing. Like there's a there's a funny film, which is um, oh what's it called? There's a film which is not space, not um, not the one with Dark Helmet. Not that one. There's another one. I can't remember. There, there, there's some weird sci-fi film I think of. I can't think of the name of it. So how's things up in sunny London? Is it windy where you are today? No, it is. It's, it's stormy. just been quite. No, it, 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 I went out. I went out yesterday. It sort of rained a bit, mm. and then it stopped. And and well, it's just been rather dull, actually. It's been nothing. Well, I mean, on the weather, they've been going on about storms. Special. With they've been going on with storms and giving them names. You know that they give names to storms now in the UK, which I always say is utterly ridiculous. And it's like Storm Duncan or whatever it is. And I just think, oh, shut up. It's just a rainy, stormy day. You don't need to give it a name. It's not going to be like a hurricane where it's going to rip off houses and kill people. It's just a stormy day. Oh, no, it's Storm Duncan today. I thought, oh, shut up. I hate that. I don't know why they give storms names. I, I moaned about it before, but I don't like it. <laughs> it just seems pointless to me. Do you like storms names now in the UK or not? Do you think, it's, or are you indifferent? Well, st- I just, well, not really. I mean, it's just wind, isn't it? And, well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, I mean, yeah, it's storm tiddles, storm <laughs> tiddles, and it's like you know, you, you know, you're like what? And, and news, and storm tiddles is now over London. Yes, and and, uh, and, and you'd be like, what? What really? And I know. I just think it's daft, and they, and they take it very seriously now. And I just don't understand why they bother. I just think. I'm, it's, I'm, I'm thinking done about them. changing the name. I'm thinking about changing the name to my channel. Oh, you're not, are you? What are you going to change it yeah, to? I'm thinking about it. Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you right now and say how you react. Okay, go on. Well, where's the drum beat? It's in the background. You oh, just can't hear it. You can't oh, hear it. Oh, all right, all right. You said by magic. <laughs> <laughs> by the gods of science fiction. Do you want me to do that again? By the gods of science fiction. If I remember, I'll add some reverb to that sort of bit as well, so it'll make it even sound more okay. Well, you didn't react to it, did you? You were like, oh, yeah, all right, then is that it? Oh, sorry, that's the title. Oh, you've, you've destroyed the moment. It doesn't matter, let's get on with the podcast. You've fucked the moment up. By the gods of you've science fiction. You've killed it. You've killed it. You've destroyed it everything in my life. I, it was like... The drum beat were going, the 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 bands, and you and our, me. and and you've just just you've destroyed my moment. Don't cry. Thank you. By the gods of science fiction is what you're going to call your channel. Yeah. What do you think? I've known you quite a long time now, so I mean, what do you think? I, I be truthful. You know, you're thinking. I I like it, but. Wouldn't it be better to have something which has a bit more of a link to your name because you're, it's always been Martin Sci-Fi oh, Appeal? God. By the gods of Martin's science fiction. Oh, no. no. Look, let's get on with the podcast. <laughs> you've, you've, you've fucking murdered the moment. You were meant to be in awe and power. It and went over my just... head. So right. it's, maybe uh, that's... Right. Maybe, I, I would, I would I'll stick with, to yeah, Martin's Sci-Fi Appeal. Yeah, to some of your other place. colleagues and see what they say. I don't know, um, but also, uh, you're known as Martin Sci-Fi Pill. 
Yes, you know I, mean? I know, I know. I'll stick to the name. I'll stick to the name. I, you, you've killed it, man. Killed it. You know. I, I don't know what to you say. Thank for destroying my life. <laughs> By the gods of science fiction. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not I'll, sure. I'll, I'll just get on with the podcast. I'm embarrassed right. now. I'm going Shall we go into the Honestly. focus of the week? Let's go into the focus of the week. Yes. This, is, this is a good one. <laughs> Moving swiftly on, here's the jingle. It's the Solar Sci-Fi Focus of the Week. By the gods of science fiction, we are there this week talking about a show which is just finished in the States. Fuck off. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and it is, a, it is a Star Wars. Fuck series. off. It, it is the second live action Star Wars <laughs> series. And it brings back a character who is well known for being very minimally in the um, Star Wars films. But he's been very well regarded over the years. And that is, of course, the Book of Boba Fett. So only seven episodes, and also featured uh, two episodes which are almost like from a different series. Um, so I, let's just ask generally uh, the book of Boba Fett. Um, yeah, you'll know. Nay, what did you think of it? <laughs> a bit of yeah and a bit of nay. Sort of mixed bag. Okay. So what yeah. did you like about it? What was it that you thought this was probably really cool? were better when he won in it, was it? Well, yeah, I'm not being funny. It was better when he went in it. I mean, come on, a lot of people said that. I don't know. Right. Uh, I enjoyed the first episode. It was great seeing him. It explained a lot. The second episode, we're getting there. Yeah. And then, then we got... Third episode, episode was where really... Yeah, that was that was the worst episode. Yeah, we got Quadrophenia and... Uh, Power Spurs Rangers. And Power Rangers. Power Rangers. And... And then Mando turned up and it all went to the next level and we got Luke Skywalker and Ahsoka and it was all amazing and we want more and this is what we want and then and then we got the final episode. I, I don't know what to make of the final episode. I really don't because me and my mate watched it, right? And mm. uh, I said to him, what did you think to that? And he, he didn't really answer me. He was like, well, hmm. And I said, well, what did you think to it? It, it was sort of like where I was. It mm. had its moments. It wasn't bad. I think what it was, because we got the two Mando episodes. Yeah. And it were building like, we were climbing a step each week. You, do you know, you remember? Yeah, 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 it was. It was sort of... You remember that build up. So I got all hyped up after the sixth episode. Thinking right. next week this is gonna kick ass. This is we're huge. gonna get yeah, the, yeah. the yeah. big the big orgasm on this. This is gonna be big. And we didn't quite get it, did we? We didn't get it. The 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 moment you you know, like when Luke Skywalker walked on the it, it was a bit of a pale imitation. And it were like they were looking it were like every five minutes they were all getting cornered and shot down by the punk syndicate. And yeah. then somebody come in and save, somebody just turn up and save them. And then it'll be again. And then it happened again. Happen again. Happen again. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And then it got too much. And then they came riding into town on Rancor Monster, which we just, I didn't know what to make. That's what I just gave up with it. And then that went on a bit of a Godzilla thing. Yeah, climbing and, up the and top. Yeah. I, I mean, it was great. It was great seeing Grogu, you know. Oh, well, Grogu always saves really. the day, though, doesn't he? But that's the thing. Yeah, he always, does, yeah. You know, but I, I would expect saying that Luke Skywalker were going to turn up uh, with Grogu and he was just going to end it all there and then, you know, this whole thing. Because that's his own planet. And I thought he might have gone there to, you know. Yeah, uh, and, and, yeah, yeah. And all we got were him, wasn't it? Well, we got his X-Wing briefly. <laughs> we saw his ship. <laughs> and then yeah. um, R2-D2... R2 actually flew him home and people I mean, say, well, I'm I not know. in all out maybe how many times have you watched it I've watched it twice and I have enjoyed it I, I think I, I luckily I think that I've watched it okay, once I, I, I I'm gonna say this I've watched Star Star Wars or Boba Fett and then I watched the next episode of Discovery the next day and I was so underwhelmed with the Discovery uh, the, the the poker thing and all this stuff. I know it's the news, but I'm just saying uh -huh. two new shows. 
Um, and I just thought about, about the rank. I just thought, about, and I actually thought it was really quite good. I actually enjoyed it. Um, I think the problem might be that the build up, those two episodes kind of split things up a bit. Uh, where yeah. we, we didn't have, we had the Mandalorian, we had Luke, we had Grogu, and it was like um, it was replaced by a different show for two weeks. And I think the problem is that um, they might, they should have perhaps reduced the other aspects outside of the Bobo, Bobo, Boba Fett show. Um, yeah. um, and it kind of compartmentalized all up a bit. And that was the problem because you were so into, first of all, the deep fake luke skywalker was one of the most fantastic things i've ever seen oh wow that that was um, exemplary and I, was. and I just i was just like i cannot believe this how good this is then you had the mandalorian then you had um you know the fact that he's no longer a mandalorian and then he and he had the dark saber and all this stuff which was fantastic so going back to tatooine afterwards um it might have been better if um it was maybe Although the episodes are really good, I think that kind of slightly spot the finale because you kind of got out of the that situation. It was the same with the um, the Tuscans, the Tuscans culture, which was very like dances with wolves or something in the first two episodes, were in the flashback. Now the flashbacks as well, I think, were more interesting than the contemporary period of the show with Boba trying to be this running this syndicate kind of thing running this running the, the the show and trying to take over um and then of course they killed off the tuscans off screen which really it, it really did reduce the impact of that yeah and then of course i think i think the aspect was that the flashbacks and the grogu luke off world stuff was more interesting than him trying to get a few people together to fight the pike syndicate which is really could have been done in say three episodes it was really three episodes of contemporary story i.e boba fett yeah escapes the silent pits takes over jabba's palace gets some mercenaries gets some people and then takes on the syndicate in the last episode that was really three episodes worth plus you had two episodes of flashback and then the other two of or one one, one and a half of mandalorian and everything else yeah, so it just kind didn't of, make it. It didn't make it, any it sense. It broke it all it, up. And that was a problem. It broke it up. Yeah. And I think that's really the aspects which, for me, were the negative. So, but yeah. I, I think what you got to do is you got to see it as like it's a bit like when we had the 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 golden age of Star Trek. We had the next generation, Deep Space Nine, and Voyage yeah. all kind of on at the same time and crossing over, or like Stargate where you get SG One mm. and Atlantis crossing over. See it more of it as a bigger universe rather than it, it, it might have way, been it's a better. bit to a yeah, I agree with that. I like, I do like, I, I see where you're coming, but maybe it might have been better to have done that in Boba Fett season two, yeah, you know, because yeah, like, the character it needs to grow. Uh, I mean, look, I enjoyed, I mean, I watched it like you every week and I've got to admit, I did enjoy it. There were a few things in there that I've picked at. Yeah. Um, but it, it, I found that because I, I was so hyped up for the final episode because I thought we were going to get the Mando treatment towards the end, like something special and yeah, we didn't quite huge get that. No. But all in all, it wasn't a bad episode. I did enjoy it. I like the Cad Bane thing. Which oh, I was really going to ask you about that. that. What did you think about his live action? Um, I thought it was good. I thought it yeah, was I thought good. It was I liked good. it because he trained Bobba as a kid. He knew him. Uh, yeah. And then Bobba, like the, it, it was a bit of the Jedi there, the, the, the trainee out doing the master. And I like that. How I would have done this when they were all cornered up. I'd have had the Tuscan Raiders coming into town because it's. I thought planet. they were going to well, come in a bit like the end of Stargate, the original movie, tribe. when all the yes. tribes come in and fight the. They got the them unified, and they didn't. We didn't see anything of them, and I, I think that no. would have been. Imagine you can see that the village or the that particular tribe of, and then other Tuscan tribes kind of took on board what happened to them, and they could yes. have some massive thing where all the Tuscans from various tribes all came in on into um Mos Elspa, um Esper Mos Elspa, fought, Mos, Mos Elspa, Mos Elspa. Uh, and, and fought Mos the Esper, um yeah. fought uh, fought the Pike Syndicate but I I still think though it's I'm very glad that they made it 
I think that also an aspect that people didn't like was that Boba was too soft, but it was the fact that he wanted to give up being a bounty hunter. He wanted to almost retire. I like all that. And I, like and I think that. that, I mean, everybody's saying, oh, you know, we wanted to see him fly around in Slate 1 and killing people. I mean, it featured no, a bit of that. No, no. But it, that was the whole point. No, he's, we're he's still going to get changed. on that. I like that. It's evolution. He, he, he's, he's, he's basically was because uh, Cap Bain was based on uh, Lee Van Cleef from The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. I've heard that. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah, I was reading this thing about it. Now, the thing is, is right, he spent years all on, alone, not being able to really trust people and doing stuff around the galaxy. And it's been quite an isolated existence. He's older now, and he right. spent time with a tribe that were family. That, and it taught him something. Other. And it, it taught him something. That's he what said the whole me, point of it is. That's the whole point that's, of the And I show. think that maybe, maybe this, how they set this up was for that journey. And a lot of I people agree. Were I agree with entirely. It. Yeah. And because that Cab Bernie kept saying about being alone and, and how that's he's right. stronger for being alone. But he won't, because when he did defeat Boba, Boba suddenly got that. Uh, Tuscan stick staff and he they trained Gaffy him stick. and he Gaffy did stick. him with it and he yeah. said they made me stronger you know and I, I quite like this we get, look, if we want a series of him flying around we've got the Mando for that but that's partly why I think they went this direction because I in think many ways I, the Mando I, I it's a good and Boba direction. were too similar they were too similar they had to make him different from the Mandalorian to a degree Otherwise, it would have been Precisely. Mandalorian. Yeah, that's, that's what they did it for that and reason. And they did show the difference. Yeah. Because Boba couldn't, when the Mando said, he said to the Mando, you can leave if you want. He said, no, it's not in my creed. I gave my word. And, he, and, and, and Boba said to him, you believe in all that rubbish? He said, it's my life. It's who I am. That's all of that. Yeah. And, and, and that, that reflected on Boba as well. It's like, you know, because what happened to him, he said it to Ming Na Wen's character, Shanik, Shanik, Fennec Shan. Fennec Shan. Fennec Shan. Yeah, Fennec Shan. He said to her, he said, you can go wander out the universe killing people for money, but you're going to be on the run. You know, you've got, I'm offering you somewhere safe to go and friends that will protect you. Yeah. And, yeah, will, yeah. and you will have a home. Yeah. And I get this attraction between all this. You know, Do you know and he what? said, he, I, was I say, think it, actually I'm changing my mind. The more I think about this series, the more I like it, even just reviewing it. It's a good series. I think you're right. I think we've just opened the door here, actually. I'm changing my mind on it now. Yeah, I, seriously. Because I think it, it's a solid I think, series. Uh, yeah, I think people, you see, because we got Boba Fett in, in the comics and the books and stuff, all it was with him running around the universe, getting revenge in capturing people you know for whoever and getting involved in that ventures but you know this guy basically he's got the dark past there's all these connections to, to empire move on. as well yeah, he wants that's going to gonna come back and bite him on the ass as well mm. you know because that campaign said well he worked for emperor you know he, he, he did jobs for emperor yeah and he's reformed now he's reformed he's a different person and I think if you look at it, I agree, I, I agree with you now, that if you look at it from that perspective, maybe season two will clarify a lot of what we said. Is there but going to be a season can't two? Have we him. don't know. We don't know if there will be a season two. It's not being confirmed I assume yet. so. I hope so. It's not being confirmed. It's All not right. Being confirmed. Um, yeah, but I've heard that the, um, the ratings are coming in now. And apparently, the, the finale of um, Boba Fett was more than the Mandalorian season two finale or something. So oh, it's, right. it's, it's taking off a bit now. Although it's partly taking off because of the <coughs> connection to the Mandalorian. But I don't care because it's all part of the same universe. So if it uses yeah, a bit it does, of that, it, I don't it, mind that. It's, it's great. You know, it's got my... The thing is, we get, we're going to get to know this character now. Mm. You know, and I think that's the other thing because some people are reading some comments and... Some people they wanted the mystery with him, but I don't want that. I want to get to know the guy, and it'd be nice to see him have a. I think there's going to be some romance between him and her as well. Oh, do you? I've never thought I, about I, that. I, there, there could be. 
And I, I hope it happens. It could be a good thing because she, I think she complements I like her character really well. well. She's good. Yeah, she's great. Them two she, work yeah. very well together. They do. But, they do. Yeah, they do. But all these people that came out, they didn't. It wasn't about agendas. These people came to support him because he was standing for the right thing. This wasn't about a criminal empire. This was doing the right thing by the people. And he I, did. I, I think this entire series, the more you go on from it and the more you thought about it, and we've already talked about this, the more long term it's going to go down as a good Star Wars series. Yeah. Um, and I, and I, 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 you just have to get used to the way it is and not how I you think so. I be. think people had a picture of what they were expecting. Yeah. And they took it in a totally different It was a risky direction. It was a risk. They could have gone with standard pattern, but they didn't. And the more I'm talking about this with you right now, the more I'm seeing they some, something else now. a good now. idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree. Yeah. I agree. So, but I have one question. You remember when it finished? There was that like minute clip of that dude in that at the end. Yeah. Who was that? Who it was, was uh, is it Cobb Vanth, the, the, the marshal? No, I know you were in the back to town. There were another scene with this other dude. I don't know the other scene. Someone. What other scene was yeah, that? Yeah, there was another scene, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It was only on for about 30 seconds. There was some alien guy in the room. Yeah, I don't know. They said oh, I didn't see I thought, oh, you mean, I thought it was I mean, that. there was... I mean, obviously, the scene in... Where, in the credits. The guy... It was in the credits. Oh, I didn't see that. I only saw one scene yeah, at Give the it end. a look. Oh, it wasn't on mine. Okay. If you know what it is, because I said to me, I said, who's that? You know, so I we, got we saw plate. the guy. We saw the guy with the blonde hair, the one that does all the the techno techno stuff, the one that sort of does all no, the. there was a, a, I a, a see like that. a thirty second clip in the credits or at the end. Oh, my copy didn't show guy. that, so maybe you might have... maybe it's you know there's different copies out there. Maybe I don't know if anybody knows can let me know. Who it is. Yeah, I don't know anything about that, that, but I'm interested. You've yeah. got me curious now, but I don't know what that is. So. <laughs> He's making it up. He's trying to. He's trying to swell it. Um, I mean, one thing I thought we might get a trailer for um, Obi Wan series at the end. But we've still not got the trailer yet for the show. Um, but that's only that's been the confirmation that it's twenty fifth of May. So that's only just over three months to go, um, and I can't wait for that. But no, I I'm just I, I'm I'm yeah. very impressed with the show. Um, the more I think about it, the more I like it. And I was watching. I was delving into a bit of. Um, the Phantom Menace um, and all the things on there, like the um, Naboo um, Starfighters, which of course yeah. um, are now um, the Mandalorian ship and all that stuff. And, and I love all this. And it's all, it's just expanding the universe. I'm not so into the animated stuff, although it's yeah, good. But I, 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 I I, it. I'm going to, I'm going to throw you the big question. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm being said, this is the big question. When he's flying around in his Naboo Starfighter, how does he oh. go to the toilet? I I'm know. I'm sorry, I've been going for two years. I know. You I know. Knew this well, I don't you know what they do in the galaxy. But galaxy I, I far just away. think you, you know where Grogu sits. I thought is that the toilet? It's Mandel's head sticking it. <laughs> like a commode or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a commode at the bottom. Maybe in that. Maybe the humans in the galaxy, galaxy far away, they only go to the toilet once every six months. Oh, that's lame. <laughs> That's that's lame. Actually, no, that uh, Mandalorian, Mando, Mando did have a toilet in his um in the old uh, Razor Crest. He did have a toilet. In oh, he did. I missed the Razor Crest. I must. I know. Are you happy that they've got a, a Naboo Starfighter, or do you think that's just? Oh, be... I, I I love. I think the Starfighter's cool, and it gets them around. Can they travel it intergalactic? Can they travel at warp speed? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, right. Yeah, so it's, it's like an X-wing. Uh, yeah, no, it's cool. It's so it looks bloody cool, isn't it? Uh, but again, I'm such a pussy. I love Grogu. He was so cute. Oh, he? Grogu's Tap, great. Tapping I, 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 I don't care. I, I love this show. And the more I think yeah. about it, the more I like it. Um, and I, I, like I said, the, I, I think because the ratings now are going up on Net, uh, not Netflix, on Disney, um, that um, that would hopefully increase the chances of it getting a... Now, it, it might be that his story can continue on The Mandalorian or even on Ahsoka, I, I all these think shows. So, yeah. So it might be that we'll see him, but not in his own series. It was like a bonus because we got the told the book of Boba Fett at the end of the last episode of the Mandalorian season two, which was a big surprise. And they've done it. They've made they made one season of it. 
so and I, I think I think we've worked out the key to it as well. Uh, they took a massive risk, and I think by season two, I think it'll all pay off. Yeah, there'll be a, trust I mean, me, there'll be a season two. There will be. I yeah, I hope so. I, I mean, I, I don't know what they do for season two, but um, you know, maybe he would maybe starts forging alliances off world, or I don't know what he needs to do though. I mean, what I right, okay, gonna, what could he do in season two if they made one? What, what would well, he, I think uh, well, he banned all spice travel. I think he's going to form big alliances on Tantooine and. I think they're going to try and get it, like, I don't know, turn it into something a bit better. I think the Tuscans are going to play a big part with them. Because yeah, I don't yeah. think they're all dead. I think they're no, enslaved. No, they've could have, yeah, I reckon they've gone to other tribes. I think tribes they've been enslaved and he's going to save the lady one. Mm -hmm. And I, I think I, I think there's going to be, he's passed with the Empire, he's going to catch up with him. And that's going to be. So we're going to get some sort of character. But... Then again, I like the team we built. I love the Wookiee. Oh, the Chris Black Crescenton. Oh, Black Crescenton. I've got to admit, I like the team of people. I felt really sorry for the two poor Gamorans that went off that building. Oh, no. I don't like so them. No. I the, only them ones I, the, the only ones I don't like are the, the mods. I'm not mad on the mods. I, I yeah. find them a bit irritating. They're, they're yeah, the, the, the weakest of the show. That's the worst thing. Yeah, the worst are. aspect of the show on yeah. mods with those with those bike things. That to me is the biggest criticism of the entire show. So I think, if that's the biggest criticism, that's not bad, I don't think. Yeah. But I think season two is going to be somewhat imperial. There's going to be somebody. It's, it's something to do because you know that Cad Bane. He said to them people in that town, he, uh, you know, he worked for the Empire, and he did well, work for the Empire, didn't he? He did a also, lot for the Empire. Also, now we're nearly, what, two years, three years since uh, Mandalorian came back. And we know that the Empire is slowly going to change into the First Order. Yeah. So we're going to have to see some aspects of some change of that. So the, it won't be straight away. The Empire's got to get some, something back to begin to build and change into the First yeah, Order. Yeah, well, there's remnants of it. There's like yeah, little yeah, bits yeah, of it remnants. left. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, like um, little dictators and that have took over a little star system. Yeah. So there's all that, but there's going to be somebody from that who's going to want the revenge with him. And the New Republic, for I was going to say, the New Republic are also spread very thin there, so they can't control it. So we know it's, it's growing up. We even heard of the man throwing last season. He said, there's something, we think there's something going on out here, but we don't know what it is. There's something not right. They've all acknowledged that yeah. it's, it's just slowly, but... You know, I'm looking forward to seeing that. I, I love the Empire and I love all that sort of side of things. Do you think so, the Republic might come after him for war crimes and stuff? It's that, possible. He did, he did, I mean, he's got that be. dodgy past could with be. the Empire. Um, if he's, I mean, if he's kind of like the legal uh, run run of Moss Esper now, he's kind of like the, uh, like the mayor. What do call it? A Duma or something? A Duma or something. Oh, I can't remember the name. It's some, some weird name. It's not mayor. Yeah. 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 Um, so technically, would he have to face war crimes? I don't know. It could be interesting. But I think there's a lot to play with from his past. I thought Cad Bane opened the door to that beautiful. Cad Bane's not dead, by the way. We heard that no, thing beeping no, on his no, chest. He's definitely going to come back. Yeah, so I, I don't mind. What that. did you think to see in the soccer? She's getting a sense. Oh Jack my god! I, well, I, I love I love this um, live action of soccer. We've seen her twice now. Seeing her with Luke was really bizarre, um, and it was a lovely scene. Um, and uh, one thing I love about this Star Wars, and, and they've done it with Mandalorian, is there's so many Easter eggs for the entire show. You know, like the Black Chrysanthemum was featured in comics, and um, yeah, there's a lot of history there. And it has a lot of links to the, uh, the, the animated shows. Um, yep. And it's just done by people who know Star Wars. And, and yep. like I said, you know, when you look at the Boba Fett in the future in the Empire Strikes Back and stuff, you've got to realise that that was who he was. He's changed partly because of the Silent Pit, partly because of the Tuscans. And he's got older, he's got more mature, and he wants a different lifestyle. That's all it's trying to do, and it's done it very well. So I'm glad in many ways that we've kind of re-evaluated it even though yeah, uh, definitely. And it's, it's actually made it even better. So I, what would you rate the show out of 10? Do you know, I'm because like, I've had this debate with you about it. I, I'm, do you know, I'm going to push it out of 10, 9. I was going to give 8.5. 8.5, 9. Yeah, yeah, yeah 8.5. Acceptable. 
Yeah, so very similar to you. I'm really glad they made it. I hope it continues. But if it doesn't continue in its own show, you know that it's going to continue in either Ahsoka, Mandalorian Season 3, yeah. and God knows what else. So, yeah, I think Star Wars is still in good hands. Um, I was very surprised by Star Wars theory, though. He was quite negative about it in, in his review of the show. And he, he kept saying things like, oh, this is the Boba Fett we want. We want him uh, out in Slave 1 and wiping them all out. But that's not what it's about. And maybe it's because no, it's, it's about younger. it's about it, it, we've got the manga for that yeah exactly exactly you kind of the mandalorian yeah. too and even yeah. as a yeah so brilliant so thank you for that and i'm glad that you enjoyed it and let's look forward to obi One. three months to go and i can't wait to review yes. that as well right shall we go into our um news there's a couple of things to talk about with you you ready yes all right here we go Working. so the sci-fi All right, so we've already briefly mentioned it, and I know that Martin's uh, found out about it, it's only released two hours ago. There's now the strong possibility, kind of almost confirmation, that we are now going to get the fourth edition of the Star Trek movies from the Kelvin timeline. Chris Pine, everything that they are all hopefully going to be back, it's not been confirmed. But uh, if they're at this point where they're saying this, then it's likely that most of the gang are going to be back for the fourth installment. So um, how do you feel about that, first of all? Indifferent. Oh, I am not really that bothered, really. And I, 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 you know, I actually watched uh, on the matter. I watched all three movies. I've never done that before. Oh, okay. I've, 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 I've said it. I've never watched them all together. You know, one after the other. Right. And, how did, and you I go? did watch all three. I, the first one, I don't have a problem with. I really do like it. No, the second yeah. one, I could just flush down the toilet. The yeah. third one, well, it, it wasn't bad. You know, it, it was better than the second one. But I like the third I, one. I, I, I thought the third one was quite good. It's, 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 it's better than the second one. Yeah, the second one's the weakest. But one, definitely. I, 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 I was. I, I don't know. I couldn't really focus in on it. Now, the first one works for me. But I will say I do like the character development. But I love the three actors that play the main character. They played it Actually, very well. I love the yeah. entire cast. That's like, I I think they play it great. So yeah, I'm all right. I, yeah, yeah, it might be better. Now. It's been a few years. The more wiser, older, more mature characters. It could be good. So let's see what happens. Let's see. Fingers crossed it'd be good. Um, what else have I seen? I saw a couple of other things. Um, uh, do you know that the orb has been delayed now until June? I think we actually mentioned that the other oh, week. I know. But I, I'm getting fed up with that because it's so long yeah, now. It's yeah. been about three years since it's been on. So it's not going to probably do well yeah. because it's been uh, too that's long That's what I'm worried about. Are you going to feel the same way about it when it's back? You know. It's too long a gap, which is really bad. Yeah. Um, so what other news have you got to your end while I'm looking at my end? Well, Quantum and Leap's going ahead. Yeah, um, I heard about That's that. That's happening. They've got the cast and the storyline. There were an article about it. So it is, they, they are looking for them. They reset the project. Something happens and they reset the project and they start looking for them. They're, and it's looking like the, the Leapers are going to be in it. And, and we're going to see some of it's going to be set on the actual project itself. So we're going to get to see the things we never got to saw this time around. Okay. But it's, uh, it's, it's apparently they've worked out a pilot episode that's going ahead, so it should Brilliant. be interesting. They reckon it could be out by the end of the year. That's good, yeah. Babylon 5, the, all that were going ahead. It's been, it's been delayed though, isn't it? Next year. Yeah, it's been delayed. It's been delayed, delayed yeah. Yeah, yeah what, what was the reason for that? Why was it delayed? I don't know. I think because CW's been bought out by Peacock, I think. Oh, so it's like it's an internal there's sort something of like, going um, on. So they might have thing. frozen all the latest projects. Right. You know. Okay. Yeah. Now I had some other news, but I can't remember. What else have you got? Have you got anything else you're in? Because I had some uh, other things, I, I, I can't find them. I, I watched Moonfall. Oh, well, I was. Gonna, I, I heard it's not very good. Do you recommend it or not? Well, it's ro well. Like, it's Roland Emmerich. Roland Emmerich. Yeah, I know. I know he's you doing know, it. The, yeah, the yeah. master of disaster. You know. It's not bad. It's not bad. I, I found that the end. Actually, I mean, you've got all standard bollocks in it. You know, the disaster, all that. You, you're so bored of it. You know, but, but he's done the same thing of, so many times, though, isn't he? He's done yeah, so many of these. But the actual movies. aliens and the agenda and that is very good. It okay. is. I was again. I was sort of 
it were like two films in one. You had they had in second half when you found out why we're all going on. That could have just been a separate movie, right? You know, and there were no need for the disaster. But it could have they could have done something a lot better. But I, as the Sunday night film, I did. I mean, I saw it online. Uh, uh, but it, 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 it's one of them things you you sit down, have a cup of tea, with and think, well, this is all right, you know. But it, in the background, there was some potential in there. There was some potential. Yeah, I mean, I saw. Um, I know it's just not on news exactly, but I just saw the remake of Poseidon Adventure, um, oh. and I actually have you seen the Poseidon remake? I've seen the. I saw the remake ten years ago. Yeah, well, I only just saw it yesterday, and I actually thought it was. Is quite that good. the ten one they made about ten years ago? Uh, the one with Kurt Russell was in it. Kurt Russell was in it. Because right, they made no, it. They made it. They, no, they, they made, made a, a couple. They made a TV movie apparently, and they've also made a proper. Right, that's uh, the one I saw. Oh well, the, the the one with Kurt Russell is actually pretty good. I would suggest you check yeah. it out. I Does it still it turn good. upside down or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It still turns upside down. Mm. Um, yeah, check it out. Yeah, it's, it's a good film. I enjoyed it. I thought it was well worth watching. Right. So um, put that in uh, your VCR. Put it in the VCR. The, put it on, put it on your computer. They milked that though, didn't they? Poseidon Adventure's been milked, haven't they? So, I've not seen the TV movie. I wasn't even aware of it until the other day. No, I, I, went to, my, I, went to, I went to cinemas to see it first with my parents. That was made and in 1972, the, for crying out loud. You must have been young yeah, when yeah. that came out. Yeah, it's well, good film. Yeah, the well. original's classic. The original's a really good movie, though. I like the original a lot. So um, I saw, I know, I saw it you know, a couple of years later because I saw the Bill. Oh, and with Beyond the Side of Adventure. They do a percent. Yeah, there were that, and then there were a third one, I think, with Michael oh, Caine. I didn't know it was a third and, one. Uh, Michael Caine did one, yeah, oh, where they you... break into the ship. From I thought that was the second one where they broke into the ship. Was that the one? Oh, yeah, I think the second one. And then I saw the TV the movie. That was terrible. Yeah, I'm I've not, not seen, seen the Kurt, this one. Kurt Russell one's worth a watch. It's got Kurt Russell. I like Kurt Russell. So yeah, you're the part with it. Yeah, check it out. Seriously, check it out. Um, any other news? I haven't got a lot. I had thought I had some other news, but I can't find it now. It must have. <laughs> no, not much. Uh, I did watch Discovery. I've caught up with that. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Discovery. Um, the 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 return uh, with uh, an episode which involves poker and uh, some some sport in an arena thing. I thought it was terrible. I, I thought it was an awful episode, but there we go. Did you like it? I think you quite enjoyed it, didn't you? I, I think it's... It, it, what I did... I sat down, I watched it, and I thought, like, first 10 minutes were all right, uh, when they were arguing with President and they nicked that device. That, and yeah. then it all came Isolinia out... Isolinear thing. Yeah, and then it all came out that this DMA is not a weapon, it's actually mining planets. And oh, I found all that, that, and it's from outside, beyond the galactic barrier. Yes, yes. And so there's something out there that's doing this. It's obviously way beyond them. And it's not, I think it's probably not realising what it's doing, you know. And then I did think, is it Vija? But then no. And, no. and I thought, this is interesting. And then suddenly we moved on from that. And then suddenly we were like, back to starting oh. voyage. You were seven of nine in the ring. And then we got the Hated standard it. boring episode. Let's yeah, go yeah. to a galactic casino. Yeah, which which and they with, never with worked. With dodgy those people. Yeah, I, no, never awful. worked. Absolutely terrible. Did like the change thing. I couldn't stop laughing when it changed into a triple. And, I thought you might I like would, that bit. Yeah, that was yeah, good. I would have liked to. Have Can we have some explanation more. about what's going on with the changes and the Dominion? Well, that, it would have been that, nice that on. the Dominion would have been mentioned. Well, they're such a, a, a powerful force. What? Where are they? What well, they might not be anymore. It's a thousand years later. It might have all changed. Yeah, but I, mean, I, I want to know because I think the Dominion is one of the greatest races ever created in Star Trek. We, oh, I agree, it. but it's, and you we know, don't know anything about yeah, them. So, well, yeah. they're probably they're probably like packed it in vain evil. And why would the changeling be in a casino? Unless it's one of the hundred that actually left was sent out and it's never oh, got yeah, home that, and yeah, it doesn't yeah. know about because they live for a long time don't they yeah so it might not even know about the great league but yeah, i would but love to learn about bet. it yeah but i think the old galaxy knew by that time that you know changed i think he would have known but that's so too. long ago and after the burn that maybe for some might yeah i would have thought he would have found out about yeah but the did, did did the dominion use down lithium uh well i think so i don't know i mean i know romulan's used um quantum singularities 
but well, I think said, there were some races that don't use the, unless it's in the system. It's like maybe it's integrated in that. Most panel. most ships do dilithium, don't they? Most of them. But maybe like the use them for power sources and for also, other things it, other than what also that, they were basically the gamma quadrant. As far as I know, they still haven't been able to get around the galaxy that fast. I don't know how far because warp nine point nine 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 is the maximum speed you can go through warp. You can't go any faster. So I don't know. There's so yeah, many we questions had a which aren't answered in the future. Though. I know the need, to, but it was nice seeing the change. Like. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, to become a triple, it would have become a fucking triple. That was the best It'd bit. It'd been actually. great if somebody had stood on it, you know, like a big fuck come down on it. We saw a friend. Sorry, I apologise. No, I no, don't, no, we fine. don't, here at the Solo One podcast, we don't condone cruelty to triples. No, exactly. The triples have rights, you know. Um, yes. And uh, if you want to donate to the Save a Triple uh, um, charity appeal, um, the link will be below on our YouTubes. And um, yeah, make any checks out to Michael Ball, please. And I'll be happy to put them towards the Triple Fund. Um, so yeah, I, I, I'd rate this episode at 10, very low, maybe 3.5, 4 at the mo most. I thought the episode was really poor. Um, I mean, it, it could have been told in 10 minutes. Um, we didn't need yeah. that casino thing. I didn't like the, the, the alien character very much. It just didn't work for me. Like I said, you know, I'm not into gambling. I'm not into sports. So it's two things it had no. on it, which I'm not into. So no, and that was, but I, I, I understand that originally there wasn't going to be a mid-season break. They made a mid-season break because they didn't get all the special effects and the post-production done. And so unfortunately, when they came back from the mid-season break, they came back with a week episode. The trailer for next week's looks better. So hopefully this time next week we'll be able to give him more of a positive review. But yeah, I'll how many episodes is there in this season? Uh, I think it's something. How like many episodes? 14, 13, 14? 14. Oh, right. 13. I know that next season that they've already commissioned a season five, which will only be 10 episodes. So but I'm thinking right. that we've had about two sort of filler episodes consecutively. So maybe just not have those episodes and just have a more of a you know get, get things running in a, in a better speed and less less padding that was a yeah. filler episode you know and we didn't need it so that's that's my opinion about that but yeah so that's pretty much it for new shows i've watched um yeah so there we are so any other anything else before we wrap up things for today no that's it that's that's it that's it. okay well that's great well thank you for reviewing i'm glad that we've learned a bit more ourselves as we talked about it of boba fett Bring on season two, and if not, then hopefully we'll see him definitely in one of the other new shows that's coming yes. up. Um, so next week, we can either review, um, depending on if you want to, we can either re review Cube, which I don't think you've ever seen, or we could do 12 or 1 p.m., which I'm, I'm, I'd like to review at some point. Or is there anything else you want to bring up that you may be... I'll tell you what, have you, have you started on UFO yet? No, I, I will, but that's a, there's a lot of episodes. It's like, <laughs> no, no, I will, I will, I promise. I tell you what, if you right. review one of the others, we'll do it the week on. How's that sound? Uh, we'll do, uh, no, because you've gone on about 12 minutes. We'll do that. All right, so do 12 or 1 p.m. It's only a 20 minute thing. So, and I'll, yeah. in that time, I'll cram, well, not cram, but I'll go through UFO. It's only one season. That'd be fine. And I'll, so the week after next, we'll do uh, Q, um, uh, UFO. All right. Have yeah, do you want two weeks to get 26 episodes? Yeah, all right. Two weeks. A week after that, then. Right. Okay. No, no, that's good. And then, <laughs> and then we'll have a good one. And then I can tell you. By the like. gods of science fiction. That's the name of your YouTube channel. There we go. No, I'm not, I'm not doing it now. You killed that. It's, 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 uh, it just. I didn't. I. I. He threw me. He threw me. Well, no, you were meant to be like. Like reacts letting her out. Well, no, I, I thought that I God, thought that I, is so cool. I right. thought you were making, I got that. I thought you were making a, a, a sort of comment rather than saying that is the title. I thought you were just saying by the gods no, of science fiction. No, I no, misunderstood. You, you, you've destroyed everything. I'm going to set up an appear a, 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 a sort of <laughs> question <laughs> on my channel. No. <laughs> I'm going to do. You could do a question. Uh, I have to do yeah, all right. comments on my channel. So, yeah, my right. colleague wants to do this channel. Do you like this name, yay or nay? And then I will get people to vote, yay or nay. And if they if they say yay or nay, then you can that, tell. I'll them. get crucified. Why? This you need a collective friends. opinion. 
collective opinion. Well, all right, all right. Oh, all right, all right. All right. Eighty-five thousand five hundred subscribers. I'll post right. it to all of them. All right, and hopefully we'll get two replies, and then <laughs> you can them. <laughs> If I'm lucky. But right. on that note, I came across a really funny uh, opening titles version of, it's like an 80s version version of the Book of Boba Fett, as if it was made in like 1983, like, yeah. like the opening of Magnum or something. It's a bit cheesy. And I can't remember the name of these people, but it's hilarious. And what I'll do is I'll put the, the link to their um, original um, clip on my YouTube yeah. upload. It's really funny. It's just perfect. It's so... 1983, it's like something out of like Airwolf or something. It's hilarious. You'll right. like it. So next week we're back. We're 12 or 1 p.m. Martin, mm. thank you very much and live long and prosper. Thank you very much. Live long and prosper. The Book of Boba Fett. A dangerous trek into the crime-ridden underbelly of a galaxy that is not our own. Boba Fett, a masked gunfighter on the road to redemption. Once a killer for the highest bidder, he now protects those who cannot protect themselves. Doesn't take no for an answer unless he's asked to and then he does because it's the right thing to do and the polite thing to do armed with advanced weaponry and unconventional cybernetic advantages he stops at nothing to defeat his enemies and if he fails he is mad enough to pay someone more capable and better equipped to handle it for him Who protects those who cannot protect themselves.